Morning, Henry. Hello. Can you just talk a bit about the, the new attacking system that, that you're trying to implement at the moment and how close, how far away do you think you might be from sort of really putting it out there and getting it firing? Um, yeah, I think we're getting pretty close. I mean, we've got, I'm not obviously going to go into what we're doing, um, but we've got a lot of a lot of exciting players ball in hand. Um, it's just about Obviously, we've 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 got a lot of strengths now in that area, and it's just about playing to those strengths and getting boys boys ball. Where that's, that's not just in the outside channels; that's some of the big big boys up front. We've got some some real real dangerous carriers up there as well. So it's about getting everyone into the game and um, using our strengths. Really, it, has there been a game so far in this tournament where you you felt like you've been close to to, to getting what you want from it? Uh, it's been in. in in parts, in all the games, really, I think in, in, in all, all three games, we've, we've shown bits of, of what we're trying to do. Um, the, the challenge now is to is to produce the the, the full the full go um, in a, in a, and do it and do it throughout a whole game. And who knows how how good that can can mean we play in that game. Um, obviously, we've like I say we've we've been going pretty well, having having done bits bits of it. But yeah, we're we're, we're always looking for that that game to push on. Okay. Thanks, Henrik. Cheers. Um, Will Keller, please. Hi, Henry. You well? No, thanks. How are you? Yeah, all good. Thank you. Um, we were chatting to Marrow yesterday, and he was talking quite well about sort of walking towards the the pressure or the perceived pressure around the team. How, where do you sit on that? Do you enjoy others talking up the opposition? Do you quite like I don't know going into the game possibly unfancied or whatever? Do you like that pressure on the team? Yeah, I wouldn't really call. It, I, I don't know if we really take it as pressure. Um, I think we we're quite good as a squad about concentrating on ourselves and what, what we need to do, what we need to bring. Um, obviously, there's always a lot of outside noise. Uh, but I think yeah, we're pretty good at, at blocking that out, really. But I, yeah, I do think so that there is a there is an argument to be had about being underdogs uh, and coming through and getting the win. That's always a, that's always a good feeling um, because Ireland are a, a top side. Uh, and they're probably our favourites coming here, but um, yeah, we're, we're confident ourselves. And um, like I said, we we're good when we focus on what we're doing, and uh, that's what we've been doing. In that 2019 game, where you went to Dublin, Ireland were pretty well fancied. You had a stormer, and England won the game. What do you remember about that, and the sort of satisfaction, as you said, you got from turning over them there? Yeah, so that was a great day um, to do it. To do it anywhere, to beat Ireland anywhere is good, but to, to beat him in, in Dublin is obviously very tough. Um, a real, real tough, tough place to go. Um, and obviously, like I said, they're, they're a top side. So to get to get a big win away from home in the Six Nations is massive. And yeah, I remember that being one of my, I think that's my first Six Nations start as well. So um, yeah, it was a, it was a mem memorable day for me and I'm looking forward to hopefully creating more. What do you think you particularly got right that day that is worth repeating in other Ireland games? Um, our, our pack was was pretty dominant there. We, we were we got we had, well we still have and we we had then got some big lads putting in big shots, big big carries and get us, getting us on the front foot both sides both sides of the ball. Uh, obviously that's important. Any any game you play, the better the platform those boys can create for us, the more space we get in attack. And um, I think it's something we always you always strive for. Um, but it was yeah that was particularly good that day. Cool. Thanks, Henry. Good night. Thanks, Charlie Morgan. Hi, Henry. Um, we've heard a lot about cohesion this week, um, mainly from, from England's camp. I just wondered, I think you and Marcus have now played in eight uh, successive tests together at some, at some stage. Can you talk a little bit about how, as a pair, your cohesion is maybe developing and what's that and what that's looking and feeling like? Yeah, um, obviously Marcus is a top player, um, unbelievable talent. I've really enjoyed playing with him. Uh, we've we've got a good relationship on and off the pitch. Um, do a lot of stuff together off the pitch as well. So um, yeah, we've we've uh, we get we get on well. He's he's been in camp obviously before he started playing. This time he, he's he's been in before, and so we, we've known each other for a while now. Um, but I just like his mindset and, and how he how he likes to attack a game and how he likes to play with ball um, is is great is great for someone like myself to enable yeah, me to get on the ball more as well. Um, which has been awesome. Uh, like I said, he's a he's a top quality talent himself. But 
the way his mindset and how he wants the game to be played is something that I'm, I I share with him. Um, and yeah, that's probably why we we feel like we sort of click so well. It, it might sound it might sound like an obvious question, but what in which areas of the game and maybe areas of the field does cohesion really help us at ten and a twelve? Um, well, there's, there's the obvious uh, in set piece and, and strike moves and and all that side of things, but there's just in in phase and if, if you've got the ball for a few phases, um, so sort of ten and twelve tend to be fairly close to each other normally, and we can be talking to each other without having to shout when you when you're sort of that close and um you can see we can see what we're doing and where we're going and um, react off each other. Um, I think that's that's what's been going pretty well. Obviously like I said earlier we've we've had uh points of that in games where it's been really good. Um we've been we've been going we've been having some good good sessions in training and um always always looking to push on and hopefully we can get more of that this week. Thanks Andy. Yes. Thanks and we'll finish with Nick Mullins. Thank you. I'm um, just just following on um, from from Charlie's questions, Henry. Um, that that relationship with with uh, Joe Marchant as well is is that similar to the one that you'd have with the ten? Are you, are you talking as a three very often, or are they two very different partnerships? Yeah, it is. It's very much three, really. Um, sort of ten and and the centres make up the midfield, don't they? So um, yeah, I've I, likewise with Marcus. I've, I've really enjoyed playing with Joe. Um, he's got some top quality attributes to his game. Like he's one of the quickest guys you'll ever see. Um, hell of an athlete, great in the air. Like he, he's got he's got it all really. So um to play with him is really good. Uh obviously we we I think the thing I like about both Joe and Marcus is we can we can have we can have we can have really honest chats and say what we want and no one gets no one gets um offended or everyone listens to everyone and it's uh yeah, it's a really good, it's a really good sort of relationship. I think we've got, um, we've built over the last few months. Uh, I've known Joe as well for for a fair while now. Uh, played a few times with him, so yeah, I like what they're about, uh, and it feels good, good playing with the boys. And all of a sudden, you're the old bloke in that back line. Actually, I'm not sure whether you're older than than Jack, but in in, in caps terms, you're the most experienced. That's all of a sudden that's come up very quickly, hasn't it? Yeah, it has. Yeah, I don't like, I don't like you saying that actually. <laughs> but yeah, it's uh. Yeah, it is. I suppose I'm getting on that a little bit. I'm still 28, mate. Come on. I don't know. Having it, my, having it with Prime yet. Um, <laughs> but yeah, like I say, there's... Do you feel that extra responsibility, though? Do you feel that you might need to say more than you, you would have done three, four years ago? Yeah, I guess so. But I think that's, that's come naturally. Um, I think I've, as of the more I've been in the squad and the longer I've been here, the more I've uh, sort of developed more of a voice, I think. Um and yeah, probably now it is it is required a bit more than than in the past, obviously, because there's a few very experienced players either missing through injury or, or not here. And um yeah, sort of had had to up it in that respect. But it's something that I guess, yeah, like I said, has, has come naturally and something I enjoy doing anyway. So um yeah, I'm 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 happy with that. Cheers, Henry. Thank you. Thanks, we'll finish with a quick one from Hugh. Morning, Henry. Hiya. Um when you speak about the attack still developing, I just give us an idea of your own mindset into going into this game, please. Do you feel in the mood to kind of let Rip give everything you've got against Ireland, or will it suit it better to play with a slightly conservative, slightly defensive mindset? How, how are you feeling? No, I don't want to give you too much, um, but I'm always, I'm always of, I'm always of the mindset. I, li I like to play with the ball um, and to attack. Uh, so hopefully we'll get in, we'll get opportunities, but I'm not I'm not going to be forcing things for the sake of forcing things. You obviously you, you take every scenario as it comes, and whatever the right situation right option is in that situation, that's what you try and do and, and take and try not to use any sort of bias on on what what you want to do. So um, yeah, obviously I have every tension to to get our attack going and 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 play, but obviously right call, right time.